In this problem, we have to prove that the sum of odd functions is also odd. Let's go ahead and go through the proof. So proof. So we'll start our proof by assuming that we have two odd functions. So suppose that we have two functions that are odd. Let's give them names. How about we call them f and g? That f and g are odd. The next thing to do maybe is to write down what it means for these functions to be odd. So this means, so a function is odd if whenever you plug in minus x into the function, you get minus f of x. And this has to be true for all x. So this is for all x. So that's what it means for f to be odd. And we're also assuming that g is odd. So this means that g of minus x is equal to minus g of x. And again, this has to be true for all x. So now that we've written down what it means for our functions to be odd, we have to look at the sum. So let me just go up here to the top and recall that if we have a function f and a function g, and we put a plus sign between them, that's called the sum of the functions. And it's defined as follows. The sum of two functions takes an element x and spits out a y value, which we denote by f of x plus g of x. This is the output. So the input is x, the output is the sum. And this is the notation that we use. So we have to now take this and plug in negative x and verify that it's also odd. So then f plus g of minus x is equal to, so this is equal to f of negative x, this is by the definition of the sum, and then g of negative x. But f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. That's because we have it uh, up here. And that was because f is odd. And likewise, g of negative x is equal to minus g of x. And that's because we have it up here, which was because g was odd. And just for extra super added clarity, let me just say because f comma g are odd. And we're trying to show that this is minus f plus g. So what you can do now is you can pull out a negative one and write it like this. f of x plus g of x. And then f plus g is something that is there. Right? This, is, this is the definition of f plus g of x. Really nice stuff. And then you don't have to necessarily write the minus one. You can write it as minus parentheses f plus g of x. So the function f plus g takes negative x and gives us negative f plus g of x. So this shows that f plus g plus g is odd. So this shows, oh, it's important to say something. I almost forgot really bad. Um, this is also true for all x. We, we really need to say that. This is for all x, right? Remember, that's part of the definition. So um, very, very key. Therefore, f plus g is odd. Therefore, f plus g is odd. And that completes the proof. I hope this video has been helpful.